Alright, hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Last time we defeated Blackwalt's number two, and now we can go board the airship, which is going to be heading back for Alexandria. But, um, uh, Gerard might have some other ideas here. Wait here while I ask inside if we can hitch a ride. Uh, I, I shall go ask them! Oh, really? How come? Uh, uh, it is not for your benefit! I'm only doing this for the princess! Hendo! He was so adamant about going to the castle before. An airship full of barrels like the ones I saw at the castle. Hendo was against going. Gerard, is this ship really headed for Limblum? Duh! No, it'll probably take us straight to Alexandria Castle. But why? Didn't you just say we should get on that ship? Trust me. G Gerard? What is it, Mane? Those dolls were making underground. Do they look like me? Uh, I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong answer. They kind of do, but not really. I don't know. They're just dolls, Mane. It's moving! What the heck is Hendo up to? Alright, we have to get on, Allison. On a ship that's not going to Limblum? I don't have time to explain. This way! I like the airship music here. Hurry up! No. You have nothing to worry. Hurry before she takes off. But I'll take you to Limbo, I promise. Fine, I'll get on. It's taking off. <laughs> Gerard, you and those girls. I tell you what. Come on, it's not like I did it on purpose. You still talking about that? Please, enough. That's the royal tone in your voice again. Oh, whoops. Are you okay, Mane? Feels like I'm going to get sucked into the sky. Yeah, Mane, I'm afraid of heights. I wouldn't be anywhere near outside myself. Let's go inside, Mane. I trust you, Gerard. I get the feeling she doesn't quite trust me yet. Maybe she'll reward me with a kiss or two if I try hard enough. <laughs> You're the playboy. Gerard? He's like, already. What is it? Something wrong? It's Mane. Mane? Well, they're live and they're moving. So the mage is built in this village. Bring back the new ones? Hello? Oh, Mane. Mane? Mane! Were you able to talk to any of them? No. It's like... They don't even... See me at all. I tried. 
again and again. But he won't even turn around. Money. I need to go upstairs for a little bit. I gotta turn the ship around before it reaches the castle. Okay. Keep an eye on Mane, alright? Alrighty. Now I like this little bit right here. Well, not that little bit, but the other little bit here. Oh, who's behind all of this? I wonder. It looks like a treasure chest, but it's actually a part of the ship. No treasure for you. What an old engine. Blim Blim is the only place that sells mist engines. They must be using the same en engine they bought years ago. That's the thing. Alexandria is not technically advanced, but the stuff we saw in the village of Dali was. Hmm. I wonder. We shall learn more in due time, folks. What? We'll be flying over Evil Force soon. Uh oh. Did the boss and the others escape safely? I'm sure the boss would tell me that it's none of my business. Yeah. Okay. How could this happen? What am I to do? I never expected things to go so badly. I cannot believe the ship took off without the princess. What will I say to Queen Braun? What the heck are you doing? You almost took off without us. That's because the ship's crew... Huh? Wait a minute. Is that you? Why are you? Where's the princess? In the engine room. She's on the ship! All is well now. The ship is returning to the castle. You'll be hanged for the kidnapping of a member of the royal family. Enjoy your freedom while you can. It's like he doesn't even see me. He's looking straight at the, the pilot. Okay, now I notice what's going on there. I think that's the first time I caught that. Okay, so you same thing all the way down. At last, Queen Braun is sure to be pleased. However, the princess would have been left behind without the thief's aid. I shall petition for a life sentence on his behalf. That would be the honorable thing. But that was because the crew wouldn't listen. I must run a background check on them. <laughs> it is my duty as a knight. What's wrong? Something stuck in your throat? You, 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 you insolent fool! <coughs> Turn us around! My voice is getting sore after this. I will have your head for that! Hey, I think we upset them. 
But they didn't respond to anything till now. You're the one who started this trouble. I apologize. Please wait while I take this fool into custody. I turned the ship around. Oh, uh, what's wrong? No! Money! Are you okay? So number two is defeated by a small child. You're no match for my power! <laughs> Princess! Stay there while I eliminate this child! I'm going in between voices here. Are you protecting him? Nonsense! You're no different from mindless dolls! What can you do? Then my OBS keeps recording in and out. I'm not happy about this. Get out of my way! Do you dare to fight a black waltz? Fought two of you before. Said get out of my way! Because this black waltz is nothing to be messed with. What cruelty! You know, I don't find that uh, scene to be that sad, to be honest with you. They were just mass produced. Ah! Master Bonnie, I shall assist you! Hey, you guys! Allison. Y yes? We'll take care of the Black Waltz. You steer the ship. So we have no white mage for this fight. Lovely. Things are get get blah. Things are gonna get even more dangerous from here on. It's not too late to turn back. You can go back to the castle or cross Southgate in Lindblom. It's your choice. I'll be with you either way, but try not to crash the ship. Be careful, I'll be fine. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Weren't they your friends? You fool. Do I look like some black... Sorry, wrong voice. You fool. Do I look like some lowly black big soldier? <coughs> Ouch. If they worked, your allies, what you do... What you did was reprehensible! <laughs> We're not about them anymore being produced even now. What are you? Ah, the bodyguards for the princess have gathered. How convenient. Answer me. It wouldn't do any good if I answer. Since you're all gonna die. I will eliminate all who stand in my way. Or idiot said, actually. Black Waltz number three, folks. So, Mane goes into direct trance here. So, I cannot use focus. What we want to do is steal the linen curus right away. He's got two more steals. And it's not going to take that long, I don't think. So we're going to use Hendo as our white mage. Because he's not attacking anything at the moment. 
Couldn't steal anything. So, uh, yeah. This is, uh, he has the most offensive, uh, black magic out there. He can cast the, the R, or steepled hat. He's got one more steal. The R's, I think maybe even the August spells, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know he can hit you hard with 144 damage right there. And once he goes into the air, it's really hard to uh, hit him, and he hits even more offensive. So that's why I want to keep him on the ground for as long as possible. The more damage you do to him, then he'll eventually go to the air. Couldn't steal anything. He's got one more. Yeah, let's get a potion on Mane just to be safe. There's a Thundara spell. Alright, I'm gonna hit uh, Hendo with the high potion. Yes! We're good. You know what? Double black. Uh... Let's go fire and fire. Sword magic, fire. Let Gerard cast the high potion on Hendo. So there's 116. I didn't see what the other damage was, oh well. 280, not bad. More double black. Let's, let's do a couple of blizzards. Or uh, not. Well, that was a waste of a high potion there. Well, I don't want Hendo to not get experience points. So, let's get a Phoenix down in. Okay. Now, alright, so he hits him. Let's go with, uh... High potion on Hendo right away. Sword magic, let's blizzard just for fun. Now, um, Gerard becomes the white mage because the blizzard sword's more powerful than whatever damage. Uh, Gerard could do at the moment. And that's that, folks. Once we got all three steals, it was easy peasy. You! You scum! I exist only to kill. Just how many black waltzes do we have to fight? This is becoming ridiculous! I think that was the last one. How do you know? Are you in league with them? You said waltz, right? Didn't you think number three would be the last one? For those of you who are not musically uh, inclined like I am, if you watched my bonus episode uh, a couple episodes back on um, the Ragtime Mouse, that's a good example of a waltz, folks. 
I can see the south gate. She's going to go for it. I love this cutscene coming up, folks. No, oh, I thought we were going there. Oh, not this cutscene, but coming up. Dad, I did see. Did you see that? Our enhanced black mages. All defeated. Betrayed us. Hendo did. It's all his fault. Huh? Unstable the ship becomes. Don't let go of the steering wheel. Number three is coming back. Yay! Something's wrong. It's broken! Ah! Hey, it's magic too powerful, we did! There's nothing we can do now! We shall depart! Run away! I'm surprised Thor doesn't say away, run! For whatever reason that means. I exist only to kill. I exist only to kill. Attention all planets of the Solar Federation. I assume control. I assume control. I assume control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see Southgate? Yes! Southgate is a huge gate built exclusively for airships, but... Maneuvering through it could be made tricky. Do you want me to do it, Allison? I want to do it on my own. Can I? Can I? Can I? Please, please. Uh huh. All right. We don't have clearance. They might close the gate on us. Security was totally lax when I came through here on the theater ship. It'll be fine, Captain Allison. Roger. Well, we did have Roger Hunt for Liverpool way back in the day. But he's not a current Liverpool player. It's old, but the engine's got power. We almost turned back! Princess, turn the ship around! The Black Waltz is heading straight towards us on an airship. I will not fall for such a foolish trick. You might crash into us! I'm not fooling for that old foolish trick there. Oh, he's right. Whoops, it's headed straight for us. Punch it. Go through South Gate. Don't be so ridiculous. What if the gate closes on us? There's no way we can outmaneuver him in this cargo ship. We'll slide in the gate before it closes and shut him out. That's our only chance, folks. All right, this cutscene I'm talking about, folks. Max Power! Stay on course. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay. I know we can make it. Well, that whole scene reminded me of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. First of all, that part 
where, you know, Indian and, and his dad get on the, schlip, the ship trying to leave Germany, then it turns back around towards Germany. And then that last part there where they're trying to escape through the tunnel, where um, the, the airplanes are after them and they make it through the, the tunnel okay, but the plane doesn't. And it closes up on them right in the nick of time there. Yeah, so that whole thing reminded me of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Pretty cool. Here we are all beat up and blown to bits, and somehow we made it to Lindblom Cla Castle. Castle. I think we pushed it a little too hard. Why so silent, people? We made it. Come on, cheer up. Southgate was badly damaged. It was my fault, wasn't it? Well, you were the captain. Don't worry about it. They'll fix it up in no time. You idiot! I like this little funky music here. The cargo ship was wrecked, and we lost all the cargo, and Southgate was destroyed. Actually, it's probably a good thing we lost all that cargo. I can't believe I played a part in this debacle. Hendo. Yes, princess. I didn't mean to get you involved, but you saved us. Thank you. Such kind words. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're scum. We suck. Oh no, I've made up my mind. I vow to protect you, princess, until we return to the castle. How do you feel about that, Allison? He'll follow you to the end of the world. As Yuna says in Final Fantasy X, anywhere I go. It's okay, Gerard. Hey, I can see the main gate of Lindblom. That's Lindblom Castle? How gigantic! The city of Lindblom is inside the... Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. The city of Lindblom's inside the castle. Yes, Allison and I will go our separate ways once we reach Lindblom. Don't, but I'm popular with all the girls in Lindblom. So, I say anyway. I see. Just when we're beginning to get close. Gerard? Those black mages and I, are we the same? You're knocking off already, money. I don't understand, Master Money. Just what seems to be the problem? I don't know. Master Mare, why would those mages be the same as you? And why would it matter if they were? She the best line of dialogue so far from Hendo. Rusty's right. You're an individual, no matter what happens, Mane. Better believe it, brother. Let's go to the deck, Mane. Well said, y'all. You've got to see Lindblom from above. It's the best. Looks like the Falcon's Gate is right in front of us. I don't want to play the Atlanta Falcons, though. Bloom Castle music. You'll hear this music a lot, folks. The Grand Castle, I might say. 
I didn't scour this whole area for treasures in my uh, test run. I didn't get this far. But I know there are plenty of treasures around this place. And we'll be back here 50,000 times throughout the whole game. So It's all good. An indoor airship. That's truly amazing. Even Her Majesty's Red Rose would easily fit in here. The Red Rose. How romantic. Allison, you don't look too impressed. Have you been here before? Yes, I came here a few times when I was little. I haven't been here since my father passed away. Here comes the welcoming committee. Well, that's really an old airship. I am Princess Garnet to Alexandros. I humbly request an audience with Regent Sid. You must be kidding! No member of the royal family, let alone a princess, would ever ride in such a, a shabby airship. And look at the company you're keeping. How dare you accuse a princess of lying! A princess was forced to come here under extreme circumstances. And show me some kind of proof of your royal heritage. Very well. This pendant, is it a falcon claw? No, the shape's a little different. Call Mr. Artenia. Have you learned such a filthy looking, looking oaf? It will not be so suspicious of us. Hey, I'm not the idiot with the loud voice and the dirty rusty armor. What? What is going on? Sir, we have unknown visitors who wish to see the Regent. And one of them is carrying a pendant that looks like a falcon claw. Mr. Artania is like, I know. You're dismissed. I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania! It's good to see you, Princess. Please, follow me. The Regent is waiting. So he knew she was coming already? Before we go up there, we're going to go this way. We're going to make a little pit stop. And we're going to collect a couple of treasures. There's one down here. And there's one up here next to this boogle. And... Speaking of which, here's Maki. Yes, it's a letter from Kumop. Kupo Kupo! Thank you very much, Kupo Kupo! Stilskin visited me. Kupo! He said he found a place that seemed interesting. Then he left. I wish he stayed longer. Kupo! Where did he go anyway? Let me know when you find out. Kupo! Stilskin, Stilskin, Kupo Kupo! I wonder if he stopped in Limblum. I have a favor to ask. Can you deliver a letter to Atla? Sure, why not? Thanks, Kupo! You have another one. I want mail. You've got mail. All right, just had to make a little pit stop. Do I want to equip the stuff right away? Only three away from that. Uh. I'll teach him Steel Gill and Antibody. He's getting it, folks. We got a leather plate a while back. Yeah, we can equip that. Okay, so he's still learning all that. Broadsword. Still learning level up. He needs that. Bronze gloves. 
Oh, straight upgrade. I like it. Linen Curus, awesome. All right. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's go to where we're supposed to go now. Oh, well. Ability. Let's see. Yeah, we don't need all that. Do we need that really? I don't think so. Yes, we will be using that. I don't think we need Protect Girls. Beast Killer. Is that it? Alright, I guess so. We'll go with um, Add Status, because why not? All right, we're, we're, we're expected. Let's go. Took you long enough to get here. Limblum Castle has three levels. All are connected by this lift. All right, or this elevator for you non-British people. For the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbor and the black in the black gate. What do you think this says, Lord of the Rings? In the back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore since air travels become so popular. The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. Just above the base level is the mid level. And you can ride the air cab from the mid level to go to town. Okay. Upper level contains the royal chamber and the conference room. Access to that level is restricted, restricted, because the regent himself resides there. Hey, Allison, what's Regent Sid like? I lived in Limblum for a long time, but I never met him, Gerard says. Regent Sid is very wise. He always thinks ahead. He seemed a bit odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if you'll even listen to what I have to say. Don't worry, we're not leaving until he does. We will arrive at the upper level shortly. As long as you'll ever be in that lift or elevator. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Princess, is something wrong? The regent is, isn't here. I don't know who, but take a look at the throne. What in the world? Quack, 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 quack. Greetings. Ugh, ugh, ha, 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 love it. Sir, what? Huh? You gotta be kidding me! Why, why aren't you talking to? Oh my God! That's an oglop! Wow! Even the oglops are big and limblum. I love how low key Monty is. When is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get the repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent. Please settle down. You are before the region. Huh? Enough of your nonsense! Hendo, stand down! I remember that mustache. Is that really you, Uncle Sid? Yes, greetings! I am Sid Fabul, Regent of Limblum. I know it was you! I recognize your pendant's description is so much like my falcon claw. I'm delighted to see you again, Garnet. You have truly uh, become a fine lady. I, on the other hand, allow me to explain. 
About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the regent in his sleep. Unfortunately, we were too late. The regent had been transformed into an Oglop, and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. That's the Final Fantasy II reference for those of you who don't know. Hilda was the queen or princess or whatever in um, of like the lead lady of the rebellion or whatever. My goodness. Whoever pulled this off had to be highly skilled like me. Yes, like you. Well, I'll bet it was you. <laughs> That's not possible. How can you be so sure? Do you know who we are? Of course, I may be a bug, but I'm still the ruler of Lindblom. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak to you about my mother. That's what I figured. I'm sure I can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me. I can't stand the food at the castle. It's way too high class for my tastes. How can anyone get full on that stuff? The cheap food here is a lot better. I like your attitude, pal. Today's special is soup du silence. Not bad. Yo, Pops, I'll have the stupid special. Oh, Sadat. Gerard, I figured it was you. How have you been, man? All right, I guess. Have a seat. Your soup will be ready in a minute. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Wow. Wowzers. Uh, hey, baby. Uh, yeah, like, do you want to drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one, you know? Limblum is quite a sight from high above. Hey, monkey tail! You're disturbing the other customers. I'll think of a voice for her in a minute, folks. What the? You've got a tail too, rat face. Rat face? After I finish my drink, I'm going to kick your butt. Hey, Gerard, take it outside. Long time, Gerard. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. Forgot my name? No, I remember. You're Helga, right? You. Wrong. Christine? That's better, but wrong. Oh, yeah. You used to live next door to me. How's it going, Ratchel? Ratchel. Man, you've really gotten big. You nasty little! <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. You know I never forget a pretty girl's name. New party member! Her name is Freya. Yes, her name is Freya. Now, since this recording took place after GD Wine Autumn left... Liverpool uh, Football Club for, I forgot where he went, either Barca or Bayern Munich, I forget which. This was going to be named Genie because Genie is a girl's name, and that would have been perfect for this character. However, I don't have that girl name, so I have to think a little bit more out of the box. The vice captain of Liverpool Football Club is James Milner. But we call him Millie for short. 
And Millie could be used as a girl's name, so that's the best I got, folks. Because Genie was good, oh well. So, how have you been, Millie? Same old Jared. How long has it been? About three years. How did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? No. We've got this um, Kathy Bates vibe coming from her. So what brings you to Lindblom? Fast for all the hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah, I think I'll pass. Lazy bum. No, no, not Kathy Bates. More like a uh, large barge from uh, the Goonies is who I'm thinking of here. Are you ever going to go back? I have no reason to return to Burmesia. There is nothing for me anymore. And we get a free heal, folks. Nice. So, how's the queen? Is she still as vibrant as ever? Yes, but... Since father died, mother's been acting very strangely. I'm not surprised, Quack Quack. They loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. Is he prancing like a girly man? I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everybody's attention, but no one's taken me seriously. Because they've all turned to the dark side. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. Uh, I understand why you're so eager. I'm happy that you came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person Mother will listen to. I doubt that. When I heard that Lindblom's theatership was coming to Alexandria, I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. Ah, yes. Now it starts to come together. I once promised your father that anything should happen to you, I would protect you. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But we had, had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help, he and I go way back. And Gerard has never met him. Okay then. Our plan was a perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect Lindblom was behind it. We were quack forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved we were able to get you here. At the village of Dali, we saw numerous black mages. They looked like golems, controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. I don't know how they're related to Mane, but if Mother was planning to use them for war... We won't let that happen. If she were to command an army of black mages, she wouldn't make a move as long as we had our airship fleet. Don't worry, Quack Quack. Everything will be fine. I'm so sorry, Uncle. No, no, come on. Don't be so formal. I'm helping you because I'm your Uncle Sid, not because I'm the Regent of Limblum. By the way, it's not her blood, Uncle. That's just something she calls him. 
Thank you very much. What is this place? The heart and soul of Limblum, our airship dock. This is dock number one, where we conduct our research, quack. But where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? Owner of a lonely heart. We had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require Mr. Fly either. Nice. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off with it? Good guess, but no. Actually, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Oh no. Where's this going? Um. When Harold found out about my little affair, she used her magic to turn me into an Oglop. <laughs> there she stormed off with a new airship, which I named Hilda Hildegard. Pretty ironic, eh? I didn't know you're Canadian. She hasn't been back since. Quack! We won't see her again till this three. I have been working on Hildegard too. But it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an Oglop. I wouldn't think so. I'm hopeless. But that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for that, Alexandria. Thank you. But with Southgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get to Alexandria. Don't worry. Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Yeah, and pigs will fly. Uncle, is there something wrong? Huh? I was just thinking about how the theater ship crashed. Bakker sure has good bad working on her ham. It was a bomb. All right, there's money. Good morning. Heard my heard that in my voice. <laughs> You're up early. Limblum was <laughs> man, my voice is gone. Limblum is a really busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go if they want to be alone. Limblum has always been like this. People come from all over the world. Some of them come here to become airship engineers, sculptors, actors. Wow! And playboys. Sorry. I don't even remember why I came here my first time. Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. I'm going to go there right now. Do you want to come along? Uh, that's okay. I'm going to go look around town. Just don't go any, near any windmills, okay? Okay, then I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. I go by myself. Oh, okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, all right? Teach me, Mogster, my first synthesis lesson. I'm going to go over this in much detail next episode, so we will be going over this in far greater detail. Lots of neat stuff, yes. I'm going to talk about the synthesis shop. And... Um, let's see, here, is this, no, oh, this is Mudon. There's a letter for Gerard, okay, sweet. Ruby again, huh? Ain't y'all come back to Alexandria? I'm so lonely. Just kidding, I'm opening up a little theater in an alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon, 
getting into showbiz. He asked me to come help. Your friend is starting a mini theater? Sounds like fun, Koopo! I want mail! Alright, we're going to save it right here. And next time, we're going to explore Lindblum on Final Fantasy IX. Let's play Final Fantasy IX.